And here's the basic idea. The information contained on the internet, the internet's like the ultimate network. There's scores of computers and networking devices and all sorts of dynamics that encapsulate how smaller networks obviously work. If you think about highways and roads, it makes for a very natural way of explaining how networks operate. And so toward that end, we're going to sort of use this whole set of roads and highways as an analogy of how to really get across this whole idea of networking. So the first thing to keep in mind is, for instance, you may get up for work in the morning, and this may be true whether you're in the United States, whether you're in Great Britain or Rio de Janeiro, South America. I mean, there are all sorts of possibilities, but generally the process is the same. You start out first with the source, a place where you start. There's obviously an address of where you live, some sort of postal address that is used as a point of origin. So this is where the entire process begins. There's also a highway or a set of roads. You may take surface streets to a major highway, or you may use all surface street, but the principle's the same. You gain access to the roads or the highway. On that highway are multiple lanes. It may be two lanes, four lanes. It may be a, a huge super highway, but the idea is that there's some way that traffic moves back and forth. And finally, as you get closer to your destination, there's usually an off-ramp. So there's a highway ramp that you take to get to the highway, and there's a ramp that you take when you get off the highway. For instance, when I typically go to work in the morning, I take surface streets to one highway, I change two highways, and then as I get closer to the hospital where my wife works, we take a certain exit, we take surface streets, and then that's where our trip ends. And that's basically what this is picturing. And finally, you end up at a destination. Again, you have a source that you're starting at, a specific address, and you have an address that you're ending at when you take this particular trip. In this case, a person gets in the car. This would be you or I. You take highway access to the highway and on-ramp. You then take that to the point where you need to exit. You reach the destination. And then obviously you get out of your vehicle. That's very typical in terms of how you and I may go to work or any one of a number of different locations. So let's change this a little bit. Let's not talk about the trip itself anymore, the highways. Let's actually talk about how this would relate to networks. In networks, just as you have a physical address of the street you may live on and the city you live in and so forth, there is a source address for the machine that wants to transmit information. It's referred to as a source address. This is just an example of what a source address would look like. We'll actually explain that more later in future lessons. You also have access. In this case, it's access to the information superhighway or the network. There's some way that that device has access to the network and obviously the device it's trying to reach. Then you have the network itself. It can be a local area network, which we'll define. It can be the internet, but the point is you get access to the network and then that's where you're able to transport information. Many times within the network, you'll have what are called logical channels. And certainly when we talk about wide area networks and T1 lines that have 24 channels, you can kind of think of it as a highway that has multiple lanes. So this logical network medium has multiple channels. That's another way to be able to think about it. And ultimately, the vehicle that's carrying the information through the network is called a packet. Just as you get in your car to be able to drive to a specific destination, so a packet contains data or information that's being transported all through this whole network process. And then finally, you have a destination address. Just as you had with the physical address when you're taking a journey in a vehicle, it's the same with the network. You have a destination address and a destination machine that's trying to be reached. And again, these are just random numbers that we'll talk a lot about later. So this is the basic process in the information superhighway analogy.